<laughs> Check out this slam mini. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Fender flares and everything. Can't even get over a, a nickel probably. A uh, McLaren 570 using the Marlboro Lively. Okay, the, this uh, film was put on by Protective Film Solutions. Yeah, they they actually have a worldwide reputation for applying film. Actually, this is their own car, Protective Film Solutions demo vehicle. It's uh, really cool. Has a von Steinem body kit and everything. Uh, that wings a bit much, if you ask me, but hey, whatever. Check it out here, McLaren 720S from McLaren Newport Beach. That's a really beautiful interior. A lot of carbon, dry carbon fiber, Alcantara seating. It's a hydro door mechanism. Porsche 911 GT3 Probably the only good looking Porsche in the world And of course the founder of Cars and Coffee Always in his usual prime parking spot Which wants to meet some dogs And there's the dogs at Cars and Coffee Which is the smallest dog <laughs> Why are you going after all the big dogs? <laughs> Pick some of your own size, come on! <laughs> nice classic Stucky Corvette day. convertible. Oh, yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> Here's a nice clean Austin Martin Vantage. It is for sale, asking only. $42,750 and here's what I like about it. Look at that. It has a manual transmission. And only 42 grand. I mean seriously. Carbon fiber mirrors. Hey look, even has, it even has a it's even licensed to kill. And right next to it is the uh, Rapide, the four-door Austin Martin. Here's what the Panamera tried to look like but failed miserably. Now there is something you don't see every day. That is a Lancia. Lancia. And it's next to an Audi R8, which makes the Lancia pretty damn small. I had no idea these cars were this, were this small. What is this? It's a GTM. It's a kit car based on a Corvette. That is next to uh, another kit car based on a BMW. Vintage Dodge Charger with a 440 Magnum motor. The only thing more rare if, if it had a 26 Hemi. Check out this beauty. I believe this is a Buick Riviera. I'm pretty, hmm, judging by the wheels and stuff, it's either a low rider, hydraulics, or just maybe lower. Nicely restored interior with fake wood and everything. <laughs> and that was steering wheels back in the days, huh? <laughs> Beautiful paint job. Not one sign of orange peel anywhere. No swirl marks, just like glass. Corvette Z06, currently the most powerful Corvette available for sale. 650 horsepower. Uh, this thing is pretty much a track monster, at least until it gets replaced by the uh, the new ZR1, which is even more powerful. This one has a nice selection of carbon fiber on the rear, uh, big wheels that probably slows the car down more than anything else, and look at that, it's got a proper manual transmission as well. Uh, 
I'm not sure what to make of this Nissan GTR. My words. <laughs> it's got body panels on it. Holy crap, big duck tail. Look at they stripped the interior. Okay. Spoggles racing seat, stripped out interior. <laughs> Row bar. Wow. I guess this is a this is a track setup here. I imagine it can't be very comfortable anymore. The GTO is never a comfortable car to begin with, but now it's probably <laughs> uh, let's just say that I don't think I want to drive this thing on the road. Check out the supercharged Mustang. Yeah. Ah, there's a Synfix supercharger. And it goes right on top of the Holly carburetor. That's hilarious. Like this is not even fuel injected. This is so old school. And now there's no inner cooler in the way. So it's a supercharger right to the Holly carburetor. So that means basically you can't do too much boost because uh, well you're gonna blow the motor up. Now that's creative. I'm just a kid again. <laughs> yes it's true. A Corvette will make you feel like a kid again. Okay, this is where America meets Japanese. And yes, I say America meets Japanese because this Acura NSX was designed and built in America. Whereas that Nissan, I guess this is designed and built in Japan, I suppose. Uh, the Acura looks way better. This is the Lotus Elise. It's next to a, a Porsche 911 convertible. And the convertible Porsche looks huge next to this little thing. Supposedly, it's one of the best handling cars in the world. Uh, just because the handle is good doesn't mean it can post any fast lap time. Here's another car you don't see every day. Uh, complete with Japanese license plate as well. <laughs> right hand drive. There you go. It's a Sprinter. <laughs> Looks fast and furious. Sally and I are right now headed for her violin class. Normally the class is on a Wednesday, but uh, she missed that class, so this is a makeup class. And afterward, we're gonna go for dot com lunch. So, you got a bonus today. You're gonna see a little bit of Sally playing the violin. No! Yes. Yes. I wanna hear you play Star Wars in Mission Impossible. Copyright. <laughs> Coffee, man. Gotta love the autopilot. I mean, yeah, exactly. You know, you're cruising along the highway. It's, you can't really go fast because there's so many cars, so you put it on autopilot and let it drive itself. So you let go of the steering wheel. They did a little thing. The uh, two lines are the lane markers, so it identifies, it knows where the lines are and it keeps the car in between the two lines. I set the maximum speed at 80 miles an hour, but it will just follow whatever the traffic is. The traffic's going right now 69. So if the traffic speeds up, we'll speed up. In the meantime, it's very, very relaxing. I mean, this, I don't get any road rage. Guys say, you, come on, you fast. Don't to worry about it. I can actually, well, I suppose it's actually safe for me to text and drive right now. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope we can find parking at dot com lunch. This parking lot is always crazy. Oh, oh look, I see some spots. There's one spot here. Let's see if we can get closer. Can we get closer? Oh, look at that. Please, please, that. Oh, right in front. Prime parking spot, Sally. Yeah. Prime parking spot. That's because we're really. We are now at lunch 
And for, it's nice and sunny, but for some particular reason, it's really not that hot. Mm -hmm. Sally is actually sitting in the sun, trying to be like a solar panel. And Christian here is in the shade and he's got his hoodie yeah. on, he's got the he's got, <laughs> wearing the jacket, he's got the wearing jacket. It's, it's actually, if a breeze comes, it's actually quite cold. I don't know, yeah. what is the temperature right now? Is it, it's got... So like 60. 60 something? Oh, that's no wonder. Oh my God. Yeah, this is very un-Californian. Un-California. Oh yeah, so yeah. <laughs> but it's, it, yeah. We thought about going inside, but we decided against it. I figured if I sit in the sun, I'll be okay. Too. Yeah, yeah, and of course, Sally. Once you eat in the fur, you'll be fine. You'll be, you'll be heated up. Hey, look, twins. Yeah, real twins. Same clothes and everything. Ah, oh, look at the steam come off of this. Beautiful. And then we have Sally's pocha and so the little fish sauce. She loves the fish sauce on the rice. Watch how he talks about vegetables. And the veggie. Now it's like tofu. Tofu. What's tofu made from? Bean. Uh, bean. Soybean, right? Soybean. Soybean. Yeah, so soybean, veggie. Yeah. It's good. Thank Actually, you. Thank you. Fine. Where's the rice? Oh, there it is. <laughs> he just ordered a plate of veggie. <laughs> there you go. Cool. At least everyone ordered authentic pho. Nobody ordered chicken pho. Which is. What's wrong with chicken? Oh, it's not pho. For one thing, you're ordering chicken pho and the soup is based on what? <laughs> the soup base, this is beef noodle soup. <laughs> so you're putting chicken in a beef flavored soup. <laughs> so don't order chicken pho, not pho. Cool, Sally. This place totally changed. Yeah, we're, we're gonna come to Barnes and Noble to pick up some books and the strip mall that is at has been totally remodeled. There used to be a building right in front of us, but now it's gone. And this wasn't here either. Yeah, this wasn't here. This is brand new. These chairs and stuff weren't here. And look, now we have a nice view of the uh, the North Lake. Nice. Oh, still here, though. Yeah, there's the rubies. It's still here. Look who that is. Oh my god. I haven't seen you oh, a long man. time. Long time no How see. you doing? <laughs> How you been? How you doing? Wow, she's taller than me now. Cool. Which yeah. side is this? This is the North Lake. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. They did a good job uh, remapping this area. It looks a lot cooler. Alright, let's go to Barnes & Noble. That's the main reason why we came here. <laughs> you know what I really care about? Books. Knowledge. Let's go find some books and get some knowledge. Just got back home from the dot-com lunch and from Barnes & Noble, checking my emails here. And I came across this, uh, this real beauty here. I really enjoy reading your ebook. I really want an iPhone 10, but can't afford it. What the hell? What does that even mean? Uh, how is my ebook remotely related to an iPhone 10? It's like, I mean, that's like me going to an Apple store and saying, hey, I really like your iPhone 10, and I want to start a business, but I can't afford it. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm going to assume that this particular person uh, downloaded my ebook, liked it, and figured because he compliments me on the ebook, I should buy him an iPhone 10. I think that's about right. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, that, that's going into the Dear John letters right there. But I will use this to, I guess, uh, make a comment on something I believe that is very, very common and one of the main reasons why people do not make money online. And exactly, the iPhone 10 is exactly the reason. That's basically, most people don't make money online is because they are consumers. To, see, there's two groups when it comes to economics, business, and you know, well, anything about making money. There's two groups. There are the producers, and then there are the consumers. The producers make the stuff and sell it. The consumers buy the stuff and spend the money. If you want to make money, you don't be a consumer. So, 
I mean, it wouldn't make total sense if this person say, hey, I really enjoy e your ebook. Can you give me an idea of the web posting I should use? See, that would be actually a legitimate question. But I tell you right now, this person wants an iPhone. So what does he do? But he's thinking, hey, if I get the ebook, I can then buy an iPhone. If I download the ebook, you know, if it's just kind of mentality. If I buy this product, I become rich. No, you don't, you don't become rich by buying. You don't become rich by consuming. You become rich by producing and selling. See, so you need to get the consumer mentality out of your head. Don't think of what I want to buy or what I can get. Because if, if all you do is buying, you're never going to get rich. You need to be the producer, right? So keep that. Just, just maintain that. What, look at what you're doing on a, throughout the day. Ask yourself. Are you producing or are you consuming? And consuming doesn't, mean, doesn't necessarily have to be spending money. Consuming could be just as much as just watching YouTube video. When you, I, I'm producing the YouTube video. You are watching it, you're consuming it. Who is making the money? Think about that. All right, so you wanna make the money, what do you need to do? Well, you, should you be producing the YouTube video or should you be watching the YouTube video? Should you be writing the blog post or you should be reading the blog post? A little twist in mindset though. Stop consuming, start producing. Okay, so that's it for this little episode of these.com lifestyle vlog. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's been a pretty good day. Uh, I at least sadly did not wake up uh, early enough today. So I went and I went to the uh, cause and coffee myself, but she joined me enough for violin and and dot com lunch and everything. So, and it's been a, it's been a pretty good day, like uh, 13,000 bucks. So hey, cannot complain, right? And if you wonder how to do this, like, like, like the reader did. Download my ebook. It's a great ebook. He says, he says, I love your ebook. Enjoy reading it. You will too. But don't take email me and ask for an iPhone. Okay. <laughs> John Jeff and John Jeff.com. Thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Welcome your feedback. Leave it down below. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.